make a few random numbers so actually we don't need an array because we don't want to store the those so 100 i plus plus and just out mm, rand and make a space after them all right <coughs> and that's it it will write uh, a hundred random numbers to that file separated them with a space oh we delete this we don't need that R uh, compile it and run it compile run alright let's see reload and as you can see it's created these random numbers <coughs> there is uh, one uh, member function you should check that is the file open it is the if out dot is open like that it means that it is open if we use the logical not operator before it it means that if it is open that uh, actually make it like this so alright and make an as it means it is not opened if uh, the program gets to this as so write out something it cannot be opened like that although usually if we write out the <coughs> the open is uh, successful but uh, in case if we read then the incorrect file name could cause that uh, it will not open so like that actually we don't see any effect actually just oh it is not is open it is is open just there is a line between is and open now we can compile the program and save it and then compile the program again and here we go and as you can see there is nothing effect here it is just created random numbers here oh by the way you can use append to not uh, uh, erase everything that was in the file it is append to the end of the file so right here all right we can use f stream append so end of the constructor separated with the comma f stream and inside that f stream name place there is an app all right in this case there is only needed just that uh, change if we run the program we can see that it doesn't erase the original it is append the end of it as you can see if we run a program a few times we will get a few random number alright that should be enough and if we reload you can see it's every time append the end of it okay mm, let me show you an example when out could uh, <coughs> uh, be useful so so when is open is useful make an if stream in make the name of it uh, something that doesn't exist for example input the txt this doesn't exist in this case it will write out that it cannot be opened uh, we really shouldn't write it anything here because it never be reached except if I create that file uh, 
and as you can see it cannot be opened because there is no file with that name okay I think there is something important oh by the way a little mess behind it so when you read something for example uh, thin oh, I then there is a virtual pointer similar to the cursor in the screen so here the cursor if I write something as you can see the cursor moves and every time I press something it's right uh, to the place of the cursor and the cursor goes over uh, similarly in a file there is a virtual cursor actually if I read something in this case the 82 this cursor goes after it and uh, next time I read something it will be the 863 I think and then if you read that the cursor will go to the next number and the next number so it's work like that and the end of the file here it uh, you will read the so at the end of file end of uh, bit pattern okay uh, and I just want to show you that uh, really maybe later we use the files a little more deeper than th just write out so simple and read out just so simple so there is a website as usual the c++ uh, that come uh, where you can find all of its member function and here is it uh, you can find uh, here the all of its member function there is an open if you don't use the constructor to open so it works uh, similarly actually the same as uh, we used in here so we use the compa uh, the constructor we can we could use in dot open and some names so the file name this is the same all right we checked that is the file open we closed it uh, we used that overloaded operator and there are a lot of uh, here that we didn't use it if you just click on that you, uh, you find uh, example so here the example an explanation and what is the par what parameter does it need and even the return value so if you learn it just uh, mm, if you want to learn it just read this page uh, look some member functions okay here there is a lot of member function for this which is mostly inherited from stream and ostream and other so yeah thanks for watching and have a great day